going on guys grape here welcome back to red dead redemption 2 after we got our big update for red dead yesterday a lot of other things came out about what rockstar and take two are looking to do for the game going into its life cycle or into the future um they talked about what they're wanting to do this summer and in particular they talked about player roles now i found this very interesting they said this summer they will add three player roles to the game to kind of immerse you more into that Wild West atmosphere. They said the bounty hunter, the trader, and the collector will be coming out this summer. No particular date on those just yet, but the bounty hunter will be wrangling challenging outlaws. The trader will track animals, turn pelts into a trading business. And the collector, they said, if you love to explore the open world of the career as a collector could be for you. They said players can invest time in multiple roles, playing solo or co-op. They said the opportunities for honorable and dishonorable actions will be within these roles. They said the more time that you play with these particular roles, you can unlock better rewards, such as weapons, outfits, and gadgets, and those will be role-specific things. Also, they said one thing that was kind of interesting to me, they built this whole role idea kind of with expansions in mind. And also, one of the uh, the people stated that the road to riches in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online would be a long one. So that's kind of vague there at the end, but I find it interesting that they said they built these roles, or the role idea with expansions in mind. Are they going to continue to expand with these three particular roles, or they add new roles to the game as the game goes on? They said they wanted to kind of separate it from GTA 5. They didn't want to just reskin ideas from GTA 5 and put them in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. They wanted to have new and exciting things within this game. Also, I think that the whole thing, the road to riches in Red Dead 2 online is a long one. Kind of hints at a lot of different things. I've kind of been wondering, especially when you read the traitor and kind of what the role represents, track animals, turn pelts into a trading business. It makes me wonder if eventually these roles will turn into businesses. I know a lot of people out there want businesses and be able to make money through their own businesses. And you probably could do this with anything. Of course, the trader is pretty self-explanatory. The collector is as well. You could have your own business where you sell, you know, certain kind of high-end goods maybe that you've collected throughout the map. And of course, the bounty hunter, you could become a sheriff. There's a lot of things they could do with that bounty hunter role as well, where these could be your character's specific business for you to make money. I think this is a great look for the game. I think the update yesterday, hopefully, is going to get all the things worked out that people didn't like or, you know, people were wanting. And hopefully, they will start adding other things, you know, throughout the summer that people wanted as well. Hopefully, these updates will come out sooner rather than later. I don't want them to leave us, you know, for months at a long t or a long period of time without any updates. If they can start getting updates out weekly, every couple weeks, or at least monthly for this game, I think it will be a big help. And I think it will make the game kind of thrive as it goes on. It will get more people back into playing it and enjoying it for what it is, because it is a really good game overall. And hopefully we'll get some news about single player DLC as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the whole role idea. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.